Hey, do you know what the future of Java holds? I don't, and I'm a Java champion, by the way. They tell me when new and novel stuff happens, but I still don't know what it'll look like in, say, a few years' time. We all have some ideas, but nobody knows the future. It's uncertain, and that's okay, because it's possible to get a lot of really cool things in Java today, thanks to the Manifold project. Manifold is a Java compiler plugin, or at least that's what the website says. You and I shall have to accept that it's a Java compiler plugin and that it's sorcery made by space wizards from the future. It supplements Java with cool features like extension methods, properties, tuple expressions, operator overloads, unit expressions, a preprocessor, type access to bizarre data formats, and so much more. In this video, we're going to review just a few of the possibilities, a smorgasbord, if you will. We can't be exhaustive, there's just too much win in this project. So, buckle up, pour some coffee, and hug your nearest OpenJDK distribution because it's going to be just fine. Let's dive right into it. Go to the Spring Initializer, generate a new project with Lumbuck. Now, Lumbuck is not a part of Manifold, but Lumbuck is still super impressive and it does its own kind of magic, and so I was wondering if this would work well with Manifold. I added it to this project so that you could see that they work well together, basically. Generate the project and open in your favorite IDE. It's worth noting that when I say favorite IDE, I just mean JetBrains IntelliJ IDEA. There are no other options, as far as I can tell, for Manifold at the moment. And even there, the support is a little iffy. Remember, kids, that this is still early days yet for the Manifold project, and there's work to be done. When in doubt, just ignore the error and try doing the build in your build tool of choice to see if it's working as expected. Manifold's unique sorceries dramatically extend Java's grammar, so your favorite code formatting tool for example, the Spring Java Format Build plugin, probably won't know what to do with this particular code in your code pages. Once the project's open, add the Manifold plugin to your build file. I'm using Gradle, but there is comparable support for Apache Maven too. It works, I tried it, but for my New Year's resolutions, I said I was gonna try and lose weight and learn Gradle, and I'm definitely making progress learning Gradle. We're going to configure which version of Man Manifold we want and then dereference that property when bringing the various modules in to support the new features in the language. We'll also need to configure the Java and JAR plugins in our Gradle build. In Maven, the setup is a little bit less invasive if memory serves. Not sure why. To tee things up, we'll build out a trivial domain on which to experiment with new features. Our domain will have a shopping cart. The cart will in turn have a customer, which in turn will have an address. The cart will manage line items, whose total will recalculate whenever a new line item is added. Okay, now that our domain's fleshed out, let's start using it. I'll build a cart and then immediately want to dump out the total. Uh-oh, somebody, and it's probably me, forgot to add that accessor method. Enter the jailbreak annotation, which makes private methods and fields public so that I can dereference them, just like this. Neat, disgusting but neat. I'll manually change the total amount of money owed, ignoring our business logic and safety nets, sort of like Sam Bankman-Fried allegedly did. Then, to absolve myself of my sins, I'll recalculate the sum and print out the new value. All better. Moving on. Java's brevity has come a long way in recent years, which is another reason I never got PHP. It's the same verbosity of Java, plus you have to use dollar sign for every variable. Why? Just seriously, what? Anyway, I still hold that hope that one day we'll get another nicety, tuples. Tuples are a great way to stash variables without the ceremony of a full-on class. You see tuples a lot in languages like Python, especially for data processing scenarios involving lots of chained operations with intermediate tuples whose definition is only used in the context of a single stage or and the handoff between stages. And Manifold has them. There are two varieties, anonymous tuples, where each element gets an accessor, and named tuples which are like maps where the keys are type safe. Yes, please. In this example, I put a bunch of values in an anonymous tuple and dereference them by their item attribute. So for the first element, I would say item one, the second item two, etc. If I only have four elements in my tuple, then there's only four fields that I can call. I love how easy it is for me to print out the YouTube channel, which is where you're probably watching this video right now. But did you like and subscribe? It helps the channel, my friends. Please like and subscribe. Another thing I want, but didn't even know I could have, was the ability to model units. This is a natural thing in scientific computing when I want to think about numbers, but I want to think about numbers in the context of the unit that they apply to. This is easy in Manifold. Here, I'm just writing out a distance in kilometers. I also have another example in American, too, for those of you into that sort of thing. Do you like counting? Me either. Let's make the computer do it. Up until Java 8, 
there was very little support for iterating over ranges in Java, aside from ye old for loop. Now we have things like int range, which feels a little cumbersome, but very useful. Now it's even more trivial, thanks to Manifold, to iterate over ranges. And you can even introduce steps too, to iterate, say, two numbers at a time. Computers are great, and I'd like to believe that one day we'll live in a world where we can confidently use them to count votes. <laughs> uh, wait, we can? Next, we'll start adding some line items to our shopping cart. After all, we wrote the method to do it. Let's use it. It works, but it doesn't really feel like we've made our intent clear. We're adding something to the cart. The cart is greater for our having added something to the cart, just like with math. We've even got a total that gets updated on every new line item. With Manifold, we can put our domain model on equally expressive footing as the likes of your everyday scholars and strings with operator overloading. Remember kids, the problem with overloading came from pointer arithmetic, which most languages after C++ don't burden you with. And most of those languages, save a few like Go, PHP, and Java, support operator overloading. This includes languages like Kotlin, Scala, Groovy, c -sharp, Python, and Ruby, and more I've long since forgotten. Well, don't worry, Manifold has our backs. You just define some well-known magic functions like plus, as we've already done, and you can rewrite your code to use the appropriate operator instead. So satisfying. If you can find love in your heart, maybe see a therapist, or get a refund in your tax bill, those things are gonna probably gonna be more valuable in the long run. But this is pretty great too. This is one of my favorite features in Manifold. Another one of my favorite extensions that unfortunately doesn't seem to work all that well at the moment in the IDE given the current state of the plugin is extension functions. Lots of languages like Kotlin and Scala and Ruby have a way to add new methods to existing types. And now so too does Java. Let's see how. Just define an extensions package and then under that Define packages that correspond to each element in the fully qualified name of the type that you want to extend. So I want to extend Java Util ArrayList. So I'll create packages, Java Util capital A Array capital L List, one word. Now I can add a little chaos monkey-like uncertainty to the Java Util ArrayList. Can your program handle uncertainty in what data it'll get back? A little entropy? No, no, certainly not. What are, you, what are you talking about? Of course it can't. So don't do this, but it's nice to know that you could. Finally, this next feature is super useful, but kind of half-baked property dereferencing. You can use the dot notation to access properties by having Manifold access the Java Bean Accessor method for that property under the hood. It doesn't yet seem to work with Java record properties, but I suspect that's just a matter of time. It's still pretty darn cool though, and I can imagine this being the starting point for things like the Elvis operator and null safe dereferencing too. We've only covered some of the broad and basic opportunities here. I'm using Java 17 on my machine, but it's my understanding that this stuff would also work on older JVMs too. So try it out.